Today on the program, we are going to be putting on the new windshield frame that you made for us up in Cloversville, New right. York. We're going to show you how to install it. What we're now seeing are three of the windshield panels that we had tailor-made systems make for us up in Gloversville, New York. Here's the other two. Typically, on a boat this size, you will have a five-piece yes. windshield frame. And this is, again, Mike Ohout from TaylorMade Systems. Well, a little while back, we actually took the original five pieces mm -hmm. uh, that came off of the 1989 Pursuit up to Gloversville. That's where TaylorMade Systems is located to have you transform a windshield from 1989 that looked, you know, pretty nasty. It to was something, a rough shape. Yeah, yeah. There's something that looked really, really nice. Sure. And, and, and this is absolutely fantastic. But there are a lot of issues that people might not even know about that they're having with their windshield frames. Okay, especially like, you know, the, the mounting screws in, in the frame. That cover gasket, those older ones, literally will disintegrate in the sun. Do you sell replacement? We do, yeah, we've changed the formula over the years and now we have uh, a much more robust gasket that'll last for years and years. How long have you been making these uh, boat windshields? Since the 50s. You have an entire new division up in Gloversville that is doing nothing but helping older boat owners with their windshield problems. That's correct. If somebody has a nasty frame, can you help that guy? Do, do you have to get a new windshield frame component or can you refurbish it? Yeah, we can refurbish it. Very similar to what we did here, this windshield was, a, was an anodized windshield when we first got it to our shop. And then we totally stripped off the anodizing and then we powder coated the frames afterwards. Okay, well, canvas designers, that, that's a canvas shop. Back in the day, a lot of canvas shops would take the stainless steel snap stud, yeah. okay, for, for yeah. canvas. And, and they would self-tap it right into an aluminum windshield. And if you look real close, if you have that on your windshield frame, you're probably going to notice some pitting, if not a dish to where material is actually evaporated. That's right. I, is there a way to refurbish that, or do you have to get a new replacement part? We can either have to bring the windshield back, and we can touch up those holes with a little weld, and then refinish. Or and if it's too bad, we'll just switch off the top trim itself, the whole top section. If everybody at home uh, kind of takes a look at the original windshield that came off of the Pursuit and, and you look at that front vent, okay, it was a manual window and, and you want that when you're driving around, it's hot, you know, it kind of forces air There's through some the air boat. In there, sure. How did you do things differently to really modernize the Pursuit? Yeah, in this case, we did a full framed uh, welded section here and it's got an interior gasket for water tightness. Uh, it's going to have a, a, a power actuated uh, arm that's up on the deck. So it'll attach to this arm here, rocker switch. You guys have already wired up the boat uh, for that system. Let's talk about the five pieces that we have here. Sure. If, if somebody's going to be reinstalling a windshield or, or installing a, a new modernized windshield, mm -hmm. that's what we have, mm -hmm. could we help them? Uh, first thing you wanna do is, is tape off the area you're getting ready to, to install the windshield. That's protect the gel coat in particular. Uh, these are five piece sections normally. You're gonna want some support, some help. Uh, you take a couple sections up at a time. You're going to want to put some sealant, some silicone in each one of these joints, these male-female joints. And when you get ready to set the window, when you're drilling through your fiberglass, you definitely want to put uh, some form of silicone in each of those holes. What do you put underneath the windshield frame? Uh, we put the, uh, a waterproof foam. It's called dog bone foam internally. Uh, but that helps take any variation between the frame and the fiberglass itself. Almost every windshield frame is going to be installed with a self-tapping screw on right. a fiberglass boat. Right. Um, do we want to use some silicone on that screw before we drive it Absolutely. in? Absolutely. This is going it's to keep key. the cabin from leaking. This is going right. to keep your boat from leaking. You can help anybody out there that has an older boat with, with any aspect of windshield issue, okay? Please, one more time so people can write this down, okay? Because it's, it's an amazing resource, guys. Where can people get this work done? Sure. It's boatwindshieldrepair.com.